welcome to the Photogzilla News Network. I'm your host, Photogzilla Rockstar. Today we bring you more exclusive coverage on the latest workshop scam that is taking thousands of dollars from photographers. Recently, we blew the covers off of the Jasmine Star and YWD magazine workshop. They have been selling an overpriced irrelevant workshop that offered very little in return for the thousand dollar cost per person. Over $27,000 has already been lost. To make things worse, the organizers of this workshop used images to promote a workshop that did not even belong to Jasmine Star. Whoever saw the ad was led to believe Jasmine Star shot the images. This was not the case at all. My guest today is Norma Lopez Malima. She is the actual photographer whose images were used illegally and fraudulently by Your Wedding Day magazine and Jasmine Star to promote this a money-grabbing gold-digging girl workshop. Wait. I'm sorry. It's called, A Girl in a Chair Workshop. Ms. Molina, thank you for joining us. Oh my god, thank you. First, could you please tell us a little about your career as a photographer? I started 12 years ago. And in 2001 I graduated from Brooks Institute with a Master in Science and Photography. What type of photography do you specialize in now? Now I'm doing fashion, still life, architecture and editorial portraits. How long have you worked with YWD magazine? A little over four years. Were you ever an employee of YWD? Not an employee, freelance photographer sometimes paid, sometimes not paid. How would you describe your relationship with the YWD staff? The relationship was great. I met everyone, the editor-in-chief, art director and my favorite person was the creative director, Catherine Van Breen. We always worked on the same page. What kind of feedback did the YWD staff give about your work? The feedback was good. They always seemed happy and pleased with the results. When was the first time you found out your work was being used by YWD and Jasmine Star to promote the A Girl in a Chair workshop? I saw that workshop email from an email blast they sent to everyone. I think they forgot I was in that email list. Have you ever heard of this blogger, Jasmine Star, before the workshop ad came out? Not at all. Well, that's probably because Jasmine Star has never shot any editorial or studio work similar what is advertised in the workshop ad. By the way, that's not even her real name. Do you believe Jasmine is qualified to be teaching an editorial photography workshop? I don't know. We understand you don't want to step on anyone's toes that's just starting to learn photography, but could you be more specific? Any winner from PDN or the Wedding Photo Journalist Association contests is probably more qualified. Especially for the technical part of the high fashion editorial photography part of the workshop. Did YWD Magazine ever approach you to teach a workshop like this, even though you clearly have many more years of experience with the subject matter and even a master's degree in photography? No. Did YWD or Jasmine Star or anyone on their team ever ask for your permission to use your images for an ad? No. I shot those images originally for one of their editorials. Ah. Yes, keyword being editorial. When PZN looked at the YWD Jasmine Star workshop ad, we all believed that work was a representation of Jasmine Star's work. Do you think other people got the same impression? Absolutely. How did it make you feel to see your images being used for this workshop without your authorization? I was very upset. I wanted to write a strong email to them, especially because another photographer was kind of taking credit for it. I wanted to cool down before emailing, and then my insanely busy schedule took over, and I completely let it go. I regret that. Since the YWD editors and Jasmine Star are using your images for profit, do you believe they should have known the laws on copyright and licensing images, as real professionals in the editorial world actually know? To be honest I failed in that regard. We never signed anything, or agreed on usages rights. Don't beat yourself over it. You did nothing wrong. 
Jasmine Star and YWD are the ones that took advantage of your hard work and now have taken advantage of all the attendees. Do you think attendees will be surprised if the instructor, Jasmine Star, cannot teach the methods you use to create the images they are misleading people with? Yes, unless the instructor has knowledge and experience in studio lighting and equipment. And it is very unlikely that a wedding photographer will bring the amount of equipment used to create these images to a wedding location. We at PZN also feel the same way. Your images were great, however, very misleading to people seeing the ad. They won't even be able to create the same images because the person teaching doesn't even have the knowledge to teach it. What are your thoughts on people teaching workshops they are not qualified for? Well I'm amazed of how some people dare to do it. I think it's a waste of time and money. I paid $70 to see editors from the New York Times, Allure magazine, and many others in New York recently. That was worth it. They wear the big shots. And it was much less than this workshop. Yes, we can certainly see the value of not only paying less, but also learning from real professionals who are not faking it by using a classroom platform to obtain credibility. So, do you think the ad is misleading? The first group of ads yes very misleading, the new one, oriented more to the editorial production maybe not, because the fashion creative director will conduct part of it, and she's really good at what she does, and some sponsors will provide nice table setups and decor. Well, we agree with that part. The decorations and designs may be very pretty and all. However, for photographers who are coming to learn the technical knowledge to take the editorial images depicted in the ad, is the part misleading? After all, this is a photography workshop. The technical aspect of the shooting session I don't see it working out. Ms. Molina, have you ever taught a photography workshop of your own? No, not yet. We are PZ then, and real professional photographers think you are certainly qualified a hundred times more than Jasmine whatever her last name is. Now, it seems these organizers may have infringed on your copyright and may be liable for damages. Are you thinking of taking any legal action? No, I do not want to put anyone out of business, but after this expose I hope they learn their lesson. What word comes to your mind when you think about this entire situation? A four-letter word. Amen. Some feedback we received from our article on this workshop describes them using your images to sell their seats constitutes fraud. Would you agree? It is definitively misleading. Partly, those images were a team effort and part of that team was the creative director Ms. Van Breen, and she will still be at the workshop. Do you believe people are wasting money on workshops such as a girl in a chair? Yes. PZN was right when it said buy a magazine and look at what they are publishing to know what they are looking for. And if you are starting, invest in Elizabeth Messina or Mike Colon workshop. I heard these are hands-on technical and business grade all around. By the way I don't know why YWD didn't talk to Elizabeth Messina about giving the workshop. She shot a lot for them too. Do you think students will be learn enough within three hours of shooting to get their money's worth at this workshop? No. Got to a community college on Saturdays or Thursday nights is cheaper, if you are starting. If you are a photographer already, then go to a Cologne or Messina workshop. What is your advice on what photographers should look for when considering any workshop? Look for someone you admire with a proven record of success, awards EDC. I admired Art Stryber, who shot for Vanity Fair Esquire, etc., and on his workshop he did not disappoint. He was phenomenal. Or Jason Madara. He is worth every penny. Also fantastic. What is your advice to other photographers who are just starting out? 1. Do self-assignments on what you love shooting. 2. Study the trends from what you see in magazine in your discipline, and after mastering, that look start experimenting on developing your own style, and giving it a new twist. 3. Shoot as much as you can, you will learn something from each one of your shoots, a lesson could be doubling most of your equipment, or when to be almost invisible. 4. Be excellent and effective in Photoshop. 5. Don't let bad workshops shy you away from good workshops. Ms. Molina. 
Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. We wish you the best of luck in the future with your photography. And thank you. Not only on my behalf, but also on behalf of the people considering attending this workshop. It is my pleasure, Ms. Molina. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching our exclusive interview with a real editorial photographer. Please be sure to leave your comments below and Twitter about this post. And don't forget, in order to help all photographers in our industry, remember to tell all of your friends to keep following Photogzilla on Twitter. Good night.